Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna to take you on a brief tour of the 2023 Alpha Wolf 26 RL. This is a rear living travel trailer. Down in the description of this video, you will find the specifications for this unit. Things like length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, you know, all that good stuff. So again, that'll be down in the description along with my contact information. If you guys have some questions, looking for pricing or looking for a camper, I'd love to talk to you. But um, yeah, if you guys like the video, hit that like and subscribe button for me. But again, it's the 2023 Alpha Wolf 26 RL. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. This is definitely a nice floor plan if you're looking for kind of more of a traditional couples coach that's not overly heavy. You get the dual opposing slides, which gives you a ton of space as well, just for kind of walking around on those rainy days. And I guess what I'll do is um, I'll start right over here on this slide. This is going to be kind of your seating slide. You get your four tabletop dinette. You get really nice sized windows. Uh, both of these two open up so that way you can get a really nice breeze. The two on the side are more for maybe some natural lighting or catching a good view. Now I left one closed, one open. I want to show you what the zebra shades are looking like. So this is in like full night mode. You know, if you want to black out the sun, get your Dracula on, don't let anyone see inside the camper, you know, let no light in. And then you have that where, you know, you can let partial light in. If it's just a little too bright for you, and you just want to take kind of the edge off. You know, of course, obviously you can leave it open, let all the light in. But new to 23 too, they changed the way that they tinted the windows. So instead of using tinted windows, they used mirror reflective. And it's pretty cool. It's actually kind of like a sunglass effect. And it'll really help the aging on some of these sofas where the sun is beating down on it and kind of maybe giving it that kind of like, you know, bleaching effect to it. Um, so that is nice to have. I'll show you that on the outside more kind of what those look like. But that is pretty darn neat. Now, I did forget to show you here above the dinette, you do have a clicker light. So turn that on and off. It's also looking pretty cool, I think. And then you got your theater seating, which is directly across uh, from where you would put the TV. So I think that's pretty nice. Really good placement of that. I know some people, um, you know, they're not too happy with the placements of these sometimes. So I think being across from the TV will definitely be a fan favorite. But these are um, recliners. So right over here, you get your vibrate. You can turn on a little accent lighting right there with a click. And then you have your heating. They are very comfortable. They work very well. I've taken naps in ones just like this many a times. Got a little place for some storage there. A couple cup holders. And these are also going to be the quick recline. So what I mean by that is when you actually pull the tab and lower it down, they lay pretty darn flat. Uh, so that way, you know, you can actually sleep if you're more of like a sofa sleeper, if you're the guest, as opposed to using this sofa, uh, which does pull out to make a queen size bed. So that's nice. It'll butt up, you know, nearly right up against this island. So even though this is more traditionally a couple's coach, you do get the ability to sleep, you know, whether it's your buddy coming over, grandkids or whatever. So I do like that. On both sides of the couch also, you'll see you got some countertop space along with some outlets. So you get two outlets on both sides. And then you get two USBs on both sides. You know, charge up your laptops, your iPhones, Androids, you know, whatever it is that you're using. Over here too, you get a little additional storage that they snuck in windows on both sides and the back you know so that's nice again hopefully you got a really nice view this back window does open up also as an emergency exit in case you need to get out just pull push and pop you know you're out in your hurry and then you also got you know some additional lights you know some reading lights you know that are on clickers there as well above the sofa little overhead storage for you you know put some blankets in there some stowaway items maybe that you don't get out every day and again, like I said, right across in the theater seating, this is going to be your entertainment section. Um, so either they didn't order it with the TV or we got a TV to put in. I'm not sure. It depends on how the customer ordered it. But this is going to be where you would mount it. So you got your mounting guide. It's got a little bit harder backing right there to put it in. Little countertop space. Little nook to put some odd and end items. You know, maybe a DVD player, PlayStation 4, depending on what kind of person you are, you know, or what have you. Uh, you also got two outlets and then your cable uh, and satellite connections. Two more USB ports, and then right here, this is going to be for your audio. So that is, again, new to 2023. Everything is going to be Bluetooth, which is pretty nice. It's going over well. You got the speakers 
you know, that are hooked up to that. So that way you can just run it right through your phone, you know, play Spotify, Apple Music, you know, or whatever. You also have yourself an electric fireplace. It puts out, I think it's 5,300 BTUs of heat. I think it's absolutely roasting. Has a setting, goes up to 100 degrees. You have a couple different color modes. The orange, the red, the white, the blue. Um, just looks really nice. And it saves you on some propane, you know, running that electric heat, which is often free, you know, down at the campgrounds. Really nice pantry, which you don't see every day inside of these travel trailers. You can definitely pack away either a lot of storage or a lot of food, you know, one way or the other. That's going to be a magnetic hook there, keeping that in place. You got your island, really nice size, plenty of countertop space. You can get all the fixings if you're cooking. You know, you're good to go. Over on this side, you get three of these pull-out drawers. This top one is kind of, uh, you know, organized. Maybe for some forks and spoons and all that kind of good stuff. And then under here, this is actually one piece, but plenty of storage. It's really clean cut looking underneath with some access to your plumbing. And then underneath this, you have your, your black stainless steel farm style sink. So that's pretty cool. And then you have your high rise faucet, you know, that little action, hit those dishes up from all angles, have yourself a good time cleaning. You got your gray stone oven, three stove top burner. You know, good enough to cook up some cookies or a pizza or something like that. You also get a little bit of countertop space uh, with an outlet. You also get the new 2023 backsplash, which is looking pretty darn cool. More storage. Uh, you also have a fan that you can turn on. So, you know, if you're cooking up some bacon or eggs or whatever, the smoke's all coming up, you can get the fan to push it on out. A little bit more storage here up above. You also get that texture glass. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Hope you guys are having a good day. The other day I was with my daughter and we were doing dishes. We were actually underneath, you know, one of the sinks and she kept wanting to put her head underneath the faucet. So eventually I let her do it. She's 16 months and... I actually had a fun for about 20 minutes. It was a really uh, funny, but it was a good memory for me. Right here, you got your 12-volt refrigerator. So it runs off, you know, the solar, which this thing has solar up top, uh, which I'll show you here in a little bit. But it um, runs off the solar, you know, or a battery, your truck, obviously the electric, you're good to go. But as you can see, really nice size, and it's much more efficient than your typical gas and electric refrigerator. Right over here... You get some good storage. You got a maintenance panel right there. A lot of countertop space. You also get two more outlets and two USBs. Another storage pantry right there. And then your high point microwave. You can fit a couple bags of popcorn in there, no problem. Another little look at that. I think that's looking sharp. And then right as you walk inside the door, uh, right here, just in front of you, uh, you have your control panel. So you got two, two awnings on this, dual awnings, extend and retract. Both slide controls are going to be right here. You also have the controls for all the lights that aren't the little clicker ones. This interior one I've got off right now. This is for the accent lighting. So it glows a really nice blue. You know, at night it looks really nice when all the lights are off. So you can come out, get yourself a little midnight snack in style. And then you also have your tank readers, you know, where you can see how full everything is. Your black tank, gray one, gray two, fresh tank, all that stuff. As you can see, it's empty, getting ready to deliver it. And then your battery levels. You also have your voltage meter and then the Furion. If you like to take really hot showers, that thing goes up to 120 degrees, so that's pretty nice. Uh, you also, right down here, have your fuse box. So if anything doesn't work, like a slide stops working or lights don't work, you probably just blew a fuse. Check that. It'll glow up and tell you exactly which one it is. Your thermostat. And then your Wi-Fi one control hotspot. So right here, all you got to do is get, you know, 4G, LD, LET, know, 4G LTE connectivity. You're good to go. You know, hit up like Verizon, AT&T, you know, something like that. So dual entrances into the bedroom. So you have one from the hallway, one from the bathroom. 
You got enough room where you can sit down and do your business, no problem. It's also going to be the porcelain throne, corner radius shower, a little skylight there if you're a little taller than the average human. Really nice size sink with a little night light. You got yourself an outlet. Underneath here, you got some storage and some access to your plumbing. Show you the bowling arm, baby. Got bowling tonight, ready to crush it. Bowled a 593 last week. I need probably about a 650 this week to stay sane. So that's the goal. I'll keep you posted tomorrow. A little bit more storage, and then a lot more storage right here. This is pretty cool for a bathroom, no doubt. Brings us into the bedroom. You got an emergency exit over here with its own blind. You also have another window right over there, so no shortage you know, of natural lighting. You also get two USBs and two outlets, and then you have storage all up and around the bed with two little countertop areas, you know, so you can put up like a, a CPAP or charging anything, you know, outlet, USB, all that, you're good. Same on both sides. So a little room for some hanging items. And then up above, all the storage is looking like this, and it goes all the way across the top. Let's see here. Take a look under the bed, show you that storage. You know, you're good to go. Got room for all your belongings. But all right, guys, I think that was about done for the uh, inside portion of this tour. Again, this is the 2023 Alpha Wolf 26RL. Now let's go around the outside, you know, show you where everything is. All right, so like I was talking about with the reflective mirror finish, can't, it's a lot easier to tell when you're on the inside, but if you walk over here, you know, you can really see how it looks kind of like that mirror. So it's kind of more of like, uh, you know, you're wearing sunglasses. It blocks out some of those UV rays. And when you're out in the sun, it's actually very hard to see in unless you want somebody to. With it being a little darker on the, out, on the inside the shop, you, know, you can really see the light in there better. But at daytime, you know, it does a pretty darn good job. All right, so you have this nice pass-through storage. It also shows off some of the construction quality right there. You see everything is buttoned up and clean and crisp. You also have the linoleum, you know, wrapping down here. A little light. This is going to be your solar charge controller, so that way you know uh, the solar panels that are working on top. You also have your slam latch doors. Dual awnings. Again, the specifications for these will be down in the description of the video, uh, so make sure to check that out. Lippert, solid entry steps. You go ahead and throw those inside your door. You know, you're ready to go. It's a stone go th type situation. Dual axles. Two little blue glowing pucks right there. That's going to be for your outside speakers. You also have a cable hookup and then two outlets and your Y brackets. That way you can bring the TV from outside and inside on the same bracket. So I think that's pretty slick. You also have your power stabilizing jack. So the back controls are going to be right over here. You know, just extend and retract with a click of a button. You know, really nice and easy. You also have your LP quick connect right there where that little blue tab is. You know, hook up, um, you know, maybe like a little grill or something like that. As you come off the back, you're going to notice you do have a bumper with the bike utility rack and the spare tire. So you can lower that down, put some storage toads, bikes, you know, whatever it is that you want right back there. So nice feature to have. You can order it with or without that. Runs you about $285, I believe. You have the Lippert on the go prep. So you can order that online and it's a ladder to get on top of this fully walkable roof. Check your seals, check your awnings, you know, do all your maintenance so you're good to go. And then it does come standard there with that rear observation camera that connects onto your phone. So while you're driving down the road, you can see what's behind you you know, and how far away it is. A really nice safety feature to have. You can put a slide topper here on this slide. It is prepped for it where you can see those little black insert tabs are. Uh, so essentially, you know, the awning or the slide topper is an awning that goes from here to here, stretches over the top. So that way any type of debris while you're outside, whether you're underneath a tree branch, you know, pine needles or whatever, you know, rain, water, sun, it protects that. Anytime you're gonna get a leak, it's gonna come from the slide there was a little tree branch there and you crunch it into the seal. So these seals are meant to, you know, kind of flip in and out. So as you could imagine, let me get on here. 
as you could imagine, if you had a tree branch right in there, leaves that opening, you know, you're not gonna have a good day. This is where you plug in your 30 amp cord. A little bit of exterior storage here and you got some pretty good height to that. It shows that enclosed underbelly. And right over here is gonna be your low point drains, your galley tank, sewer water connections, you know, all your valves, all right there, making it really nice and easy. Exterior shower with hot and cold water access. It's gonna be your docking station. So your satellite hookup, cable hookup, fresh water connection, city water connection, and your black tank flush. If you're not familiar with that, it's basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank, you know, help you knock off some PT or TP or any of the unwanted, you know, kind of debris left behind. Back end of the pass-through storage, and right there is gonna be your battery disconnect if you wanna shut her down. But well, yeah. LED lights here up at the front to make backing up nice and easy. And then you also get the old power tongue jack. But guys, I hope you guys liked the tour. Hope to see you around next time. This is the 2023 Alpha Wolf 26 RL. My name is Hunter. Have a good night. See ya.